What's going on everybody? Alex with you here as usual. Thank you for dropping by for yet another chess video. I actually wasn't planning to make this video today, so as you can see I'm just kind of sitting in my living room. Nothing's really official or anything, but I have some really exciting news to share with you guys today, so stick around. Don't click out yet. As you can see right over here, it might be kind of hard for you guys to see, but we have a new addition to the family and this here, come here little girl, this here is Lily. Lily, say hi to the, my chess friends. Here Lily is a Frenchie. She's only about eight weeks old, right Lily? Lily is actually kind of sleepy. So if you like French Bulldogs or if you like puppies in general, be sure to hit that like button before you click out. So Lily will know that you have enjoyed seeing her. Lily will be on our show here. I'm gonna just go ahead and let Lily sleep here, right? She's been sleeping all morning. The weather is just kind of crummy, so I let her sleep. She ate a little bit and we have only had her for a couple of days and we can't have enough of her, but she's a wonderful dog and she's always around. She wants to be always somewhere in the vicinity of where I am and she's very playful with the kids and anyways. Okay, so let's go ahead and let Lily sleep over here and I'm gonna just share with you guys some really cool stuff, okay? Uh, as you guys can see right over here, it might be kind of hard for you guys to see, but this is the Chestnut Air Board and I have the Chestnut Air Board connected via the USB to the laptop that you guys have seen in the previous video. The laptop is running Windows 8. It's a laptop I ended up getting from my grandfather. And I finally ended up getting Fritz 18, Power Fritz 18, which I will show you guys in a second about how it works. But I just wanted to share with you guys that uh, not too long ago, um, an individual by the name of Graham O'Neill, and thank you Graham for making the drivers necessary for the Chestnut Airboard to work with your windows. So he created the drivers and I will include those links below. Hopefully you guys will benefit in some way, but thank you, Graham. I, I wish that more people would be as helpful to the chess community as you are. And anyways, so he created the driver for many different boards, including the Chestnut Air Board, that will allow your Chestnut Air Board to be uh, seen by your windows in a situation where you can literally utilize either Fritz, uh, uh, Fritz 18, I think it's Fritz 17, even 15, any Fritz that runs a 64-bit system. I end up getting the, the latest Fritz and I, I have to say, okay, so it was retailing for about $79 or so and that was kind of the reason why I was like, well, am I really going to end up needing it? Is it really going to be all that useful? And I was like circling around the idea for a while, but it wasn't until last time when I ended up getting the free version of the Fritz 14 and I started sort of learning about it where I realized just how useful Fritz can be, not only for just sitting there and analyzing, but also for training for a, a multitude of purposes, for loading games, for loading books. You can actually load books into Fritz and be able to, to play those books out. But this is, this is super exciting stuff. I'm like, I can't really contain my excitement because as I will show you guys here in just a second, you can connect the Chestnut Air board to either your USB directly to your laptop or your computer as long as you're running some kind of a Windows program. Or if you have one of the like the newer laptops, you can even be able to utilize the driver provided by Graham O'Neill to connect your board wirelessly to your computer and utilize the Fritz software on your computer while connecting your board to the Bluetooth and doing it that way so you don't have to run a cord to your computer or if you're, you're running a desktop or something and you, you don't necessarily have the option of having everything together, that's also really cool. Uh, I didn't realize that would, that would work out, but as you guys have seen in my previous video, uh, I reviewed the Fritz 14 with the DGT Smart Board and we will see here shortly, and don't click out, we will see here shortly about just how much more fluid and quick this particular setup is. It, it doesn't crash, it doesn't give you bugs, it doesn't give, it, it's like it's so fluid and it works so well. But that's not all, okay? Because this board, because of the LED lighting and everything, you will see here shortly that you, the uh, option of having the LED lights 
greatly increases your ability to, to really use the board with Fritz in so many different situations. Uh, not only playing against Fritz itself, but also through analysis of previous games. You can run analysis of, of any games, and all you have to do is essentially load the game up into Fritz, connect it to this board, and then click next, like you would just hit an arrow key on your, on your computer. Let's say you wanted to analyze a game that's been played either by yourself or by a grandmaster somewhere, and you just wanted to analyze that game. You just have to hit the arrow for the first move. You hit the arrow, and the lights will light up on your, on your chessboard here. Then you make that move, you hit the next arrow. Now I'm still kind of polishing out exactly what's the most like ergonomic. Maybe I don't even have to click the next arrow. But I found that the DGT board wouldn't let you do that. I mean, you would have to look at the screen. Okay, first move, you hit the arrow, you, you look at the screen, this is where the opponent, you know, this is where the person went. Then you make that move on your board and then things get registered. But I mean, that's a lot of looking back and forth. I, I, I agree with me uh, on that. It's uh, if the board actually shows you with its, with its conveniently placed LED, LED lighting, it makes things so much simpler because it just, you know, you can, uh, you can just follow with the lights and then you have, to, this means less for you to look at the screen and everything. So I think that this particular setup is very much so on so many ways, like really quite ideal for a lot of people, not only if you uh, want to analyze your games, but also if you want to increase uh, your chess skills if you want to get better at chess if you I mean this setup is very very recent this this these boards themselves are, are recent uh, they're you know pretty much at the edge of chess technology but the Fritz software is very recent it's like just like December 2022 or something like that the driver provided by Graham O'Neill is also like very recent in fact I think it was Christmas just a few, a few months ago so all this is super recent and super new and it's coming together so well to work in such a way that I can, I feel that the, the chess community is really trying to work together to basically have me bring you guys this particular setup and hopefully, like I said, if the previous board, the DGT that, that we reviewed was what, $600, $596, $595, something like that, a much more convenient, smaller analysis space. Uh, we're getting the, pretty much the same options with more, with capabilities of LED lighting and everything that actually work quicker on the Fritz 18. So let me just go ahead and show you guys up close. Hopefully I can kind of maneuver all this stuff around and show you how it's working so you guys can get a better idea about, you know, about what this is all about, okay? What's happening, Lily? What's going on, sweetie? You wanna play? Oh. How you doing, sweetie? Are you hungry? No. What? That's a good girl. Okay, this is actually the second time when I'll be recording this part. It was there. I had a big glare on the screen for a while, and I didn't realize that it was really hard to see the screen. But hopefully, this time will work well. So here's the uh, Windows 8. I know Windows 8 is kind of old at this point, but um, I have the the Fritz. Uh, the driver for the Fritz that's been developed by Graham O'Neill and uh, you download it. I'll, I'll include the link in the description so you guys can download this additional third-party driver if you're interested in making this particular setup work for yourself. And it's a fairly small program here as you can see it's just uh, all you do is this it says chestnut here. You load it up to just the DLL I guess for Windows and uh, that's it pretty much um, once you have this driver uploaded you're good to go as you guys can see I still have the Fritz 14 that's a 32-bit system so it won't work with this particular driver you need a 64-bit uh, Fritz in order to work with the Chestnut Air um, so this is the actual uh, Fritz 18 power Fritz 18 super exciting program like I said I didn't pay a whole lot for it and it comes with a one year premium membership to Chessbase which is really really quite awesome I know the screen is not going to be super big and I really wish I could just screen record 
but I also wanted to show you guys the board, so I figured what was the best way of doing it. When you open up PowerFritz, you get this sort of interface here that's very similar to what I believe is the interface for uh, Fritz 17. In this particular interface, as you will see, there's the this particular section here is the Power Fritz, where it allows you to either play um, a quick game against Fritz Engine, a very simplified version of the analysis uh, window, but it just allows you to just immediately jump in and play a quick game here and there. Also, this is the Analyze, Enter and Analyze. This is what, you know, the window that you guys have seen in my previous video, where it's a lot more elaborate and there's a lot more options. There's the classics menu, the database. I'm not going to go too much in depth in talking about uh, all the options of Power Fritz 18, unless you guys want me to make like a separate video, which I can certainly do that. Just let me know in the comments below. Um, I guess I could I could do like a separate video on Power Fritz 18. Here, middle section is play chess. You can do a playchess.com where you can actually play tournaments and live games against people that are in in part of this database and you can also live watch, uh, watch live games, play bullet, play blitz, uh, three minute, five minute and watch best blitz. This is part of the online apps which allow you to, to do the training which is really cool actually. This similar type of training is also included in your uh, one year membership but this allows you to directly go into chess base and do video tutorials on how to improve your chess skills, about understanding more on openings and all kinds of stuff. If you're looking to improve your chess game, then I would highly recommend considering, yeah, considering in general getting this um, Power, Power Fritz 18 because it's just loaded with features. In my opinion, you've got the all the explanations on tactics, openings, all kinds of stuff. I mean, I haven't actually fully went through everything just yet, but I'm already quite amazed at how much stuff is packed into the software. Anyways, if you were to go and do like an easy game and click on that, it'll all bring up this window here. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on the board um, and then you click on this. And as soon as you click on this DGT board, uh, scenario here it comes out this sort of uh, additional third-party driver it says here developed uh, by Graham O'Neill 2022 December 2022 version 1.6 this software dis is distributed and hope that it will be useful useful but without any warranty without even the implied warranty of merchantability so basically this is a great software thanks a lot once again to Graham O'Neill for developing this and developing the, the drivers for some of the other boards. Um, and it says, okay, put your pieces in this position and click okay when ready. Now, I have the board connected via USB-C to this computer. Lily, don't chew on the cords, the computer won't work. Come on. So you can, like I said, you can also, if you have a newer laptop uh, or newer notebook, you can connect it to Bluetooth LE, I believe. So that would be really cool. Uh, it's not an option I can show you guys on this laptop because it's an older laptop. It doesn't support Bluetooth, at least not LE. Um, so, but still you can just as easily connect it if you have an older laptop like this. You click OK and you're ready to go. Um, we are doing, let's see, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do a new game. Okay, and uh, then it allows you also, also you can see that it can give you hints. Now you can click out of receiving hints if you don't necessarily want to click. If you don't want to have hints available, automatic hints, you can just remove everything. Or you can have, you know, more hints than, than just a few. It just depends on what you want to do, so... Um, as soon as you see, well, I watch this. So, so I'm playing as white over here, as you guys can see. Now, as you guys can see here, the board does actually light up uh, for the opponent's moves, just like we've seen before, and it's working flawlessly, in my opinion. It works really, really fast. All the LED lights works as they should, and it, the connection is just blazing fast since I'm using the cord. But I'm also assuming that using the um, Using the Bluetooth capabilities is just as fast as you guys can see. Watch this. Uh, I mean, very quick, very quick. I mean, this, this, and already immediately, 
you know, uh, it's, uh, and the fact that this board here actually has individual piece recognition is what makes it so unique too, is that if the opponent, for example, shows you that they've made this particular move and you're making some kind of a other move, um, like let's say here it says that the chess engine decided it's going to take out the, the bishop, but instead I, I do some other move. Um, what's happening is my board actually starts blinking, um, as you could see right there, that I didn't do the right move. It says, no, it should have done this way, so I have to put it back. And then I do the right move and everything is fine. Okay, so so the experience of playing with the chess knight air board against Fritz is very seamless. In my opinion, this is probably... I, I'm one of those people that really doesn't like the integration and using computer software with chess just because I feel like there's a lot of different areas where you can get glitches and things might not work properly and just seeing how how smooth and flawlessly this works. Almost like Fritz and Chestnut Air were made for each other, which I know it's not the case, but still it makes it feel that way. It's just so quick and so great. So so playing games like this uh, is, is fantastic. There's so many different options. I know that you guys might have a hard time seeing, um, but you get the notation area where you can actually have official notation going and then print it out. You have uh, all the different uh, nuances as far as like how many different games have played what past this point and what were the outcomes. So you can actually sit and, and, and analyze. Don't chew on the tripod. Um, you also have this sort of like right over here as you guys can see right down below. Um, this will show you the different moves subsequently after this move. So whatever the white decides to do, you can click on the different ones and it'll show you like what the outcome might be. Okay, so now that we're out in this screen right over here, um, we have the option of doing analysis work. Also utilizing the Chestnut Air board. Uh, there's, there's extensive analysis that can be done here. You can actually just play a game against you know two people here and analyze the position. Uh, it's a very powerful analysis software that has so many different features that, like I said, I haven't gone through everything, but just from what the things that I've tested, it's, it's really quite, quite wonderful. And Fritz 18 is working really, really smoothly, so much more smoothly on this computer than I would have thought. Yeah, because Fritz 14 just was kind of a little bit glitchy here on this computer. Fritz 18 is working really, really quite well, okay? So, uh, having said that, um, here you can analyze games. And, and the coolest part about analyzing games is you can upload like uh, either CBV, I believe, format or PNG, and you can actually like, let's say that you have a game that somebody played or you wanna access the database, for example, you go to database here, you can actually load up any of the old games, like Grandmaster games, and go through them. But the coolest part about that is that when you go through them, you can just click on this like next key, as I've mentioned already before, and you can go through the entire game with utilizing this board, and the board will actually light up where you need to put the pieces, so that that way it's just super convenient. Um, now, I actually uh, bought a book. I bought a book called The Art of Attack from a website called Every Man, Every Man's Chess, I believe. It's, uh, it cost me about $20, and I've wanted to get a book. Um, but uh, the book like this, I'll show you guys here in just a second. So you can, you, when you, if you load up a book into uh, Power Fritz 18, you can actually go through and like uh, read it like you would a normal book. As you guys can see here, it starts with a chapter, and then you know you you read it um, on on your laptop and all the paragraphs. When it comes time to doing like examples, for example, right over here it says with an attack along the E file, the main difficulty can often be actual opening up of the file, especially if everything else has already been achieved. Here we go, it loads the game up immediately, and when it loads it up, there goes the first move. And the cool part about it is that basically, 
Let me show you guys up close over here. I know it's kind of hard to see the board when it's doing what it's doing. Basically, we already see that the first move has been shown to us by the LED light. And so we click on that. This is, this is very much so along the lines of what I was talking about some months ago. And then you click the next arrow and it shows you what the second move was. On the computer, you click the next arrow and it shows you that the, uh, the, the move was here. Click the next arrow. Do you see how much more like ergonomic, I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see, but do you see how much more smooth this whole experience is? It just shows you which moves to go. And then once you're done with this part right over here, once you're finished going through like until uh, position nine, you can continue reading about, you know, what the author at this point decided. But I mean, that's the usual format, but it's just so much, I feel like it's just so much more smooth and convenient here. Not only that, you can, you can like sit here from this point and go to analysis and you can run additional analysis from this point and make notes of why you might think some alternative uh, move would have been better or some alternative you can start a, a, like a, an additional thread at any point and actually make additional notations and save that later on for your personal analysis or for somebody else's analysis if you wanted to do it that way if you want to get more in depth and you were you, or you had a question you can always put a question mark or you put additional notes that's like really really cool or if you just wanted to go through a book and try to understand what the author meant by this like that's really quite nifty and then once you're finished with the with that particular example you can continue reading on and you read on to the next one and you read on to the next one and it'll show you other examples and then this is in my opinion what would just make this whole experience of reading chess books just so much easier for so many people I do understand there's a lot of people that will prefer the original classic approach of just holding a paper book and having a regular chessboard and just going through it that way. But, in, you know, I've tried that. It didn't work well for me. And I feel like this will allow so many more people to actually learn from these chess books and, and uh, improve their chess skills the way that, you know, that these authors have meant for people to get better at chess. I mean, this is, this is great. And it's easy and very much so straightforward. And the fact that the Chestnut Airboard just seems to work so much seamlessly with this everything is, is pretty awesome, in my opinion. As we've seen, uh, the DGT board's capable of, do, of doing this, but I, like I said, the fact that you have LED lights on the Chestnut Airboard just makes it that much better. If you guys liked seeing Lily, hit that like button. I'll be able to see who liked Lily and who didn't. So be sure to hit those likes. And also let me know what you think about this particular setup. I know this video wasn't like, you know, a long official video like the ones I like to do, but it really it just popped into my head and I was testing this stuff out and so I was so excited. I just wanted to show you guys. So if you found this video interesting, like I said, I'm going to include the links below to the software where I purchased it and where you can see I like I said I was I was kind of circling around the idea for a while of getting the the newer Fritz but once I tried tried out Fritz 14 I thought there's some potential in this the only reservation about everything is I, I figured if I download the the big power Fritz 18 my computer is just gonna like catch on fire as soon as I turn on the program but it's fascinating how how much quicker uh, power uh, power Fritz 18 seems to be working as opposed to fa uh, 14 and it was completely like I, I didn't even realize that would be the case but and I'm so excited to the fact that with this third-party driver like it's just seamlessly it's not glitching it's working immediately if you're in a book like if you're reading a book like I am and they throw you in the middle of the position and you connect your board It'll actually tell you, please put these pieces into this particular position and hit OK. And once you do that, you're ready to go. Uh, so there's more uses out of this uh, Chestnut Air board now for you guys uh, to consider. If you guys already have this board, then by all means, um, try considering maybe getting the Fritz 18. Um, 
it's working really, really well. If you don't have this particular board, by all means, I'll include a link below. Get yourself a board because, I mean, I, I do understand that the DGT board's really nice. The DGT board's like $600. This is like, I don't know what, 170 something? That's, and it's smaller. So for analysis purposes, in situations where you might not have enough space and you already have to worry about having some kind of a laptop, this is really nice. I mean, really, really nice. You can be going through some books and everything and everything lights up for you and I mean, that's a win, win, win. Anyways, as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to comment below. Let me know what you think about Lily. And I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye-bye.